Today I am working on an extremely nervous, tail-tucked Great Dane named Alphonse. When I got into the shower with him, he growled at me, so I am going to be very cautious of how I work with this 190-pound beast. Okay, so this is Alphonse, and I have not gotten into the shower with him yet because when I went to go into the shower, he growled at me. And obviously this is a massive dog. He is clearly very nervous and I obviously do not want to get injured by this dog. So I am kind of confused as to how I am going to get this done and I'm trying to think of the safest possible way for me to groom him. So obviously I wanted to take his harness off, but I don't think he's going to be too fond of me getting in there with him to take the harness off. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just turn the water on and see what his reaction is to the water itself. And hopefully it distracts him enough that he doesn't care and I'm able to get in there to take his harness off and continue his groom. I am here by myself today. So if there was an incident, I don't have somebody here to help me. So I'm just gonna take things slow and see what happens before I make any decisions of whether or not I might have to send this dog home or what I'm going to do. No. Nope. Treat. Yeah, you have no signs of being okay with this. So let's see. He has never been professionally groomed. I am told that he is a mobility service dog. So I kind of expected him to be a lot more laid back, but we will see. It's okay. Okay, you're okay. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, but I want to take your harness off, buddy. Okay. Can I pet you? Good boy. What was that? Here, look. Want this? Oh, good boy! Good boy! Good boy! See? Good boy! Good boy! Good boy! Good boy! Can I take your harness off? Am I allowed to take it off? Hmm? Good boy! Good boy! Can you take it off? Oh, good boy! Good boy, okay, he seems to be warming up. I think that he's doing a lot better, but I gotta take this off. Can I take this off? Can I take it off? Why are you looking at me like that? Pa? Pa? Thanks. Okay, come out. Look, more treats on the ground there. Okay, that's much better. Let me go back in the shower. Can you sit? Sit. Sit. It's okay, don't be scared. Sit. Here, look. Sit. Look, ready? Good boy. You like it when I call you a good boy? You have to stay a good boy, okay? I do not want to get attacked by a giant Great Dane, but you did growl at me. I'm growling. 
is not polite. Growling is not polite. Okay. I'm just going to stay out of his space because I don't think he wants me in it. And that's just fine, isn't it? It's okay. It's okay, it's okay. He has his collar on, but I'm just gonna leave it on. It's okay, good boy. It's just water, good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, okay. So obviously normally I would get inside the shower with the dog, but I don't think the dog likes me being in its personal space when it cannot get away because it's enclosed by walls and I don't want to stress the dog out and I don't want to potentially get hurt. So. He has very short coat, which means that there isn't a lot of scrubbing that needs to go on, but I'm just gonna continue to spray him with shampoo and then I'll rinse him and I think that this is a safer way to go about it for him right now. Doesn't seem to mind his head being touched, but he might not like me going and touching his back end. Good boy. Come here. Okay, Pa. Okay, other paw. Oh, okay. Buddy, you're huge. You can't you can't be whipping me in the face with that paddle. Sit. Sit. Oh, jeez. Up, up, up. Up, up, up. Up, up. Up, up. Good boy. Good boy. Come on. Up. 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 Okay, so. He refuses to get on the table. Good boy. Good boy. No growling, okay? So, I will be drying him right here on the ground. Drying might not be something that we accomplished today, eh? It's okay, it's okay. You're a big scaredy cat, right? Right? It's okay. I'm gonna turn on the dryer and try to follow him with it and see what he does. Hopefully, it goes well. If it does not, then we are going to send him home without drying him today. It's all about what the dog can manage, but also I don't wanna put a dog on top of a table that's this nervous and this large, because if he tries to jump off the table, he can get very hurt. The table could fall on him. So we need to do what we're able to do with what we can work with and go from there. Fortunately, he is just a Great Dane, so he doesn't really require much grooming. Okay, buddy, let's see what you do just with the really, really tiny dryer. These are the, all the empty bags of treats. You, you ate them all on me. I don't have any left. Are you gonna be okay with the small dryer? Good oh boy, okay. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. You have slobber all over your face. Good boy. Good boy, Alphonse. Good boy. Okay. 
it's okay. It's okay, buddy. You're so scared. Good boy. Good boy. Lay down. Good boy. Good boy. So the problem here is that this dog is so scared, it keeps looking over the edge. You can obviously see how massive he is. If he decides to take that chance to jump over the edge, that would be really dangerous for him. He can really hurt himself. And that's where my concern is, is that he's going to panic so bad that he is going to try to jump over. The owner told me that he would not jump over, but in the event of extreme stress, he might do something that he wouldn't normally do. So I don't like the way that he's behaving and how nervous he is. And since he is just a Great Dane that really does not require professional grooming, I don't think that this is fair to continue su to subject him to this. If he had a longer coat, a coat that got matted, a coat that needed to be maintained, it would be a different story. So I'm gonna let him out. I'm gonna let him have some treats. I'm gonna let him roam the backyard. His coat will dry fairly quickly anyways. It's warm outside, it's, it's nice and sunny, so I'm gonna let him sit in the sun. I'll bring a towel outside and try to towel dry him a bit at the same time. But I think that that's it for him today. I don't know that this is a process that he should continue doing unless he's in a salon with multiple other groomers that can also help. But we tried. Okay, good boy. You want treats? You want, to give me, want me to give you a treat again? I'll give you a treat again. Good boy. After about 20 minutes of him drying in the sun, roaming my yard, I de-shed him with the Zoom Groom before he went home, and of course sprayed him in some cologne. In my opinion, this is the best first experience he could have had at a salon, where he was shown kindness and reward, and not forced to endure anything that was overly scary for him. The owners got him in the middle of the pandemic, so he wasn't able to be socialized with the public or at a groomer's. My advice for anyone watching is to get your pet accustomed to nervous situations so they can build confidence and trust with their pet professionals. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you again next week.